Okay, picking back up here with guide discussion number eight, part two. Uh, I want to talk about the Civil Rights Bill of 1964. Um, on June 2nd, 1964, uh, just seven months after Kennedy's assassination, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Um, two major things this act banned. Number one, uh, it banned discrimination slash segregation in public facilities based on race, color, religion, or gender. Again, discrimination or segregation in public facilities based on race, color, religion, or gender. Uh, this essentially was the end of Jim Crow laws. It only took about 100 years. Uh, number two, uh, discrimination in employment based on race, color, religion, or gender. Uh, the 1964 Civil Rights Act, that was, right? <coughs> Let's talk about the summer of 1964, uh, Mississippi burning. Despite the Civil Rights Act of 1964, fewer than 15% of blacks in the Deep South could register to vote because of literacy tests and other restrictions. During the summer of 1964, the SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, sent 1,000 Northern Volunteer College students most of them white, to Mississippi as part of Freedom Summer. The purpose of Freedom Summer was to recruit and register black voters in Mississippi. Now, the uh, experience is very dangerous for these college students. In the most famous incident of violence, two whites and one black were murdered, and their bodies were discovered in an earthen dam. Also, 37 black churches were burned or bombed in Mississippi that summer. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie, there's actually a movie starring Gene Hackman uh, called Mississippi Burning. If you don't know who Gene Hackman is, ask your parents um, or grandparents. They'll be able to tell you. Okay? All right. Uh, moving on to the Voting Rights Act of 1965. The struggle for, the, for voting rights continued in Selma, Alabama in 1965. In March of 1965, the SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, announced a 50-mile march from Selma to the state capitol at Montgomery to protest the denial of voting, of voting rights. <coughs> the marchers were stopped by Alabama state troopers who used tear gas against them and beat the marchers with clubs. In response, Congress passed the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which did a couple things. Again, this is the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Number one, it banned literacy tests in states and counties where blacks were being prevented from voting. Again, it banned literacy tests in states and counties where blacks were being prevented from voting. And number two, federal officials were sent into the South to monitor elections and register qualified black voters in these districts. <clears throat> in addition to all this, the 24th Amendment, ratified in 1964, banned the poll tax. The era of disenfranchisement of the South, or in the South, was over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's talk about uh, Malcolm X here and black separatism. Malcolm X was a minister of black of a black Muslim group known as the Nation of Islam. Um, Malcolm X was a black nationalist like Marcus Garvey. You guys remember him? He was the one that wanted to get on the ships and go back to Africa. Um, back in the 20s, that was Marcus Garvey. Uh, two major viewpoints of Malcolm X uh, regarding African Americans were, number one, uh, blacks needed to create a separate all black society and reject the white world. Only then could blacks improve their lives in self respect. And number two, Malcolm X ridiculed Martin Luther King's uh, nonviolent methods and believed that blacks should fight back if whites were using violence against them. In 1964, uh, Malcolm X uh, was expelled from the Nation of Islam and modified his views. He was assassinated in 1965. All right.
Um, kind of interesting to think of why, you know, maybe ask yourself, why do you think his views are so appealing towards African Americans at that time? Um, I think that would be something we could definitely talk about when I get back to class. Um, last thing here for guide discussion number eight is the fragmentation of the African American Civil Rights Movement. The summers of 1965, 1966, and 1967 were known as the long, hot summers because, because of the large number of race riots that took place during those summers. The famous 1965 Watts riot in Los Angeles left 34 people dead and resulted in $40 million in property destruction. The major cause of this, these riots, uh, of this riot in particular, was the growth of poverty and higher rates of unemployment among blacks in America's big cities. The civil rights bills did not solve these problems. After 1965, in the midst of these riots and the successful passage of the Voting Rights Act, the civil rights movement became more and more divided. Under the direction of uh, Stokely Carmichael, um, who was in charge of the SNCC, uh, the SNCC actually reversed its policy of nonviolence and shunned help from whites. Again, the SNCC was the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Um, the head of the N SNCC in 1967, uh, H. Rap Brown urged blacks to get you some guns and kill the honkies. Not good things. Um, for a group that was at one time very much nonviolent in nature. In 1966, the Black Panthers was organized by Huey Newton and Bobby Seale. Uh, the Black Panthers believed that African Americans uh, should openly carry guns for self-defense and they should use violence if necessary to achieve black goals. Uh, according to one of the founders, Huey Newton, political power comes through the barrel of a gun. So again, we see a rise in some violent behaviors and some tendencies by some uh, supporters of the black cause here. Uh, meanwhile, black power, which Malcolm X had embraced before his assassination, became a slogan of many African Americans, such as Stokely Carmichael. He was the guy who was in charge of SNCC there, the SNCC, um, who kind of turned and reversed the, the compass of that organization. Uh, black power meant really two things. Number one, it was a movement toward black separatism. And number two, it was a movement toward black pride. Black is beautiful, which is kind of what this movement uh, is also encouraging. Blacks started letting their hair grow out naturally into afros and began calling themselves black or Afro-Americans instead of Negroes. Um, in 1965, Martin Luther King and other civil rights activists shifted their focus to fighting for better jobs and decent housing for poor inner city blacks. <coughs> and on April 4th, 1968, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on a motel balcony in Memphis, Tennessee, supposedly by James Earl Ray. Uh, the reaction to King's death uh, resulted in riots in more than 125 cities. By the end of the week, 46 people uh, had lost their lives. They reacted to the death of Martin Luther King Jr., the leader of the nonviolent movement, with incredible violence. Um, and that, of course, leads to a fragmentation in the African American Civil Rights Movement and kind of the end of the era. All right, that's it for guided discussion number eight. Only two sections. Great.